A white lady named Misty Robinson made a life-changing decision to adopt three black kids. Ten years later, the three kids repaid her kindness in a most remarkable manner. When Misty arrived at the local orphanage looking for kids to adopt, she took one look at three siblings, Aaliyah and her two younger brothers Elijah and Joseph, and immediately realized that she had just found what she was looking for. Misty's instincts told her at once that there was just something special about these three kids, so she decided to adopt the three of them together. Besides, Misty strongly believed that every child deserves a family, so she was quite happy to adopt the three beautiful children and give them all the love and care they deserved. Misty completed the adoption process and finally took her three adopted kids home, but the four-year-old Aaliyah kept largely to herself for the first few years that she spent in Misty's home. She hardly spoke to Misty and always acted like she was scared of her new adoptive mother. But she had good reasons to be wary. Aaliyah's unhappy early childhood began the very moment she entered this world. Born to a addicted single mother named Sandra, Sandra completely neglected Aaliyah and her two younger brothers so much so that some of their neighbors took pity on the kids as they always looked like a perfect textbook example of neglected, hungry, and unhappy kids. Those kind neighbors then decided to alert the state authorities about the kids' sufferings. A quick but thorough investigation was carried out on the matter. Through the investigation, the officials confirmed that the information they received was nothing but the truth. Soon, some state officials arrived at Sandra's apartment to take the three kids away from her and place them under the care of the state. As for Sandra, she was bundled over to the rehabilitation center to get cured of addiction. That was how Aaliyah spent her early childhood days being shuffled from one foster home to another. She was always brought right back to the orphanage once her time in a foster home was up. Aaliyah watched with sadness as most of the other kids she had developed strong bonds with at the orphanage got adopted one after the other, while no one seemed to ever want to adopt her. This bitter experience caused Aaliyah to always feel unloved, unworthy, and hopeless then. However, she was fortunate enough to have her two younger siblings with her at the orphanage, who she could always play with and completely trust, three-year-old Elijah and two-year-old Joseph. Aaliyah even took on a kind of motherly role for her two siblings. She was their caretaker and protector. Aaliyah would always dress them smartly every morning. She shared her food with them and came to their aid whenever necessary. Aaliyah also always cuddled her siblings just to make them feel loved and safe. She somehow instinctively knew what they needed, maybe because she had always needed it herself. The two boys saw Aaliyah as their only light in a very dark place and cherished her dearly. Finally, Aaliyah's turn came when they were all adopted by Misty. The three kids faced a lot of transformation in their new home, but with time, they all gradually but surely adapted to life in Misty's home. Barely two years after the three kids arrived in Misty's home, Misty entered Aaliyah's room one night and found her sitting up on her bed and crying profusely. Misty went over to Aaliyah's bed, sat beside her, and started consoling her while gently patting down her hair as Aaliyah leaned her head on her shoulder. When Aaliyah had quietened down enough, Misty then gently asked her the reason for her tears. Aaliyah initially seemed uneager to open up to Misty, until Misty asked her in a low pleading voice, aren't you happy in our home? Did I do something to hurt you in any way? Aaliyah quickly replied, no mom, you have been the best of moms to me, Eli and Joe. Misty then asked her, then why were you crying, sweetheart? Aaliyah then opened up to Misty and told her everything about how she had been terribly maltreated in her last foster home. She told Misty that her then foster parents called her derogatory names all the time and would hit her at the slightest provocation. Aaliyah further told Misty that the couple basically treated her like their slave, always sending her on endless unnecessary errands. Aaliyah then finally told Misty that she just couldn't help it but always cried and felt terribly scared whenever she remembered that sad chapter of her life. After Aaliyah's emotional story, it dawned on Misty that Aaliyah's reclusiveness an odd habit of always feeling somewhat scared around her were the direct results of these sad encounters she experienced. So Misty did something quite symbolic to prove Aaliyah that she was different from her last foster parents. She told Aaliyah to write down all the terrible encounters she experienced on a piece of paper and bring it to her the following night. Aaliyah did as she was told, and when she brought the piece of paper to Misty the following night, Misty took her outside the trash near where they kept their large trash can. Misty then brought out a lighter, lit the piece of paper on fire, 
then dropped it inside the empty trash can, and they both stood there watching the paper burn slowly. After the paper was completely burned to pieces, Misty then told Aaliyah that she had just successfully burnt all her past bitter experiences. Hence, it was time for her to let go of her past and move on with her bright future. Misty's words made a positive impact on Aaliyah at once, so much so that she immediately embraced Misty. Both of them stood there, locked in a tight embrace for what seemed like ages, with Misty gently petting Aaliyah's hair while promising her that she would always love and take very good care of her and her siblings. It was such an emotional scene. Sure enough, after that night's episode, Aaliyah started opening up and speaking more freely to Misty. Henceforth, she literally started taking Misty as her mom, and what a loving mom that Misty was to her and her siblings. Then one hot summer afternoon, Aaliyah was out and about enjoying the sunshine at the local beach with her family when they stumbled upon a group of teenagers selling lemonade. But these were not ordinary lemonade sellers. The teenagers were actually selling the lemonade to raise funds for a local orphanage. Misty bought some lemonade from the group, and at that very moment, something sparked inside Aaliyah. She had always wanted to help foster kids. So with Misty's consent and support, Aaliyah soon set up her own lemonade stand. In a matter of hours, customers started flocking over to her stand for some ice-cold lemonade. Aaliyah greeted all her customers very warmly and served them with so much joy and happiness. Aaliyah was such a charismatic girl, to say the least. By the end of the day, Aaliyah had made profits worth an impressive $132, an amazing feat for a young first-timer in business. Aaliyah used some of the money to buy some toys for herself and her siblings. Then she used the rest of the money to buy toys for foster kids as well, and any foster kid that visited her lemonade stand received a free toy from Aaliyah, a small gesture that meant the world to those foster kids. Aaliyah was happy with her little impact, but she wanted to do much more to help foster kids. So with Misty's help, Aaliyah opened a GoFundMe account online, explaining that every dime raised would be utilized to buy gifts for foster kids. Amazingly enough, in a matter of weeks, Aaliyah had raised a whopping $6,000 through her GoFundMe account. With the money, Aaliyah created what she called love packages for foster kids. These packages cost around $10, and each contained a blanket, a teddy bear, a Bible, a toothbrush, and toothpaste. Aaliyah shared the packages to foster kids in various orphanages across the country. And it didn't stop there. Aaliyah's lemonade stand and charitable works had been increasingly gaining national attention. Her inspiring story gained so much traction online that her videos garnered over 1.3 million views on YouTube alone. Soon, celebrities started keying into Aaliyah's success story. Some big celebrities like Ella DeGeneres and Usher even both visited Aaliyah's lemonade stand to show their massive support for her. The gifts for foster kids kept pouring in from Aaliyah's supporters all over the country. The gifts were so overwhelmingly massive in quantity that Misty's house couldn't even contain them all. Aaliyah's two brothers soon joined her in distributing the gifts to foster kids. Aaliyah was by then a celebrity in her own rights. In fact, her whole family was by then so famous and celebrated around the country. Yet, Aaliyah remained ever so humble and gentle, receiving each gift with sincere gratitude. Misty on her part beamed with pride and joy as she watched her children's efforts. Even Misty was so famous by then that a lot of TV channels kept inviting her over for talk shows. During such shows, the show's anchors and viewers alike kept on heaping well-deserved praises on Misty for her kindness in adopting the three kids in the first place. The three adopted kids have repaid their adoptive mother's kindness in the most beautiful of ways. That was by giving her the ultimate gift any mother dreams for her children. They had all grown into beautiful, intelligent teens, ever willing to help others and with very bright futures ahead of them, as they continued making all the right connections that would surely help them in their future endeavors. What more could a mother ask of her kids? What an inspiring story. Have you ever heard of another beautiful story of adoption? Share it with us in the comments and thanks for watching.